what you will learn in today's lesson. Find the center of the ghost ball, put your index finger to the center of the ghost ball, bring your thumb over to the rail, then just parallel shift until your thumb touches a point on the rail. This is the point we want to remember. You can see draw a line from that point to the center of the cue ball. Remember a point on the rail, which is our yellow dot here. Then just go over the shooting line while looking at the yellow dot on the rail. Don't use any spin, hit with a medium speed and then you should be able to make the seven ball. And on top we have the perfect position on the nine ball. So let's shoot it in real quick. All right, we're playing nine ball and obviously we want to make the seven ball into the corner pocket by playing it rail first. And I'm going to show you now how you find the exact point on the rail that you need to aim to in order to make the seven ball into the corner pocket. Let's go over and first of all, we need our ghost ball. You have to imagine the ghost ball. I'm using this real ball here, just that you have a better view and can see I'm a bit better what I mean. So first of all, let's put the ghost ball into a position where it's perfectly in line with the corner pocket. And now if the cue ball would go into the rail and hit the center of the ghost ball, then we will kick the seven ball into the corner pocket. Of course, you don't have uh, this ball in real life, so let's put that one away. And then all you need to do is just use your two fingers, your index finger and your thumb. First of all, what you wanna do is put your index finger exactly to the center of the ghost ball and then your thumb in a parallel line to the rail, just a bit over the rail. So now you have your fingers in this position and what you want to do next is just shift your fingers over until your index finger is exactly at that position where your thumb is right now. Very important, while you're shifting, don't change the distance from your thumb to your index finger. So if you're going over and you're suddenly like this, you did something wrong. Okay, so do it again, then just shift over parallel until my index finger is here. And now I just have to remember the point where my thumb was. If someone would stand right here now behind the line and just shoot to my index finger, the cue ball would go into the rail and go exactly to the center of the ghost ball. So you have to remember that point. The problem is, how are you able to remember the point? That's very, very difficult. So what you wanna do next is just go, leave your finger on the rail. Hopefully you can see that with the camera. And then I'm just going to have a look if there is any indication on the rail that I can use. So the yellow dot is exactly on that line, so I can either remember that yellow dot, or if I extend the line a bit, I know I have to hit the rail here, which is basically right on the head string. So I'm either remembering that yellow dot or this part of the rail where the head string is. Let's remember that yellow dot here because we're using those diamond slicers. When you're walking over behind the shot now, it's very important to never lose focus of that point because you obviously don't always have the diamond slicer. So when I'm walking over, my eyes are always focused on that point until I'm uh, on the shooting line. And then very important, what you want to do is don't add any spin to the cue ball. No left, no right spin, no high, no low. Don't hit super hard, also don't hit super soft. Just hit a medium speed and then you will be able to make the seven ball. Also, very important, the more experienced you are in playing pool, in playing rail first and so on, the more feel you want to put into the shot and don't rely 100% on the measurements or on any kicking system because you always want to put a bit of feel into the shot. The more experienced, the more feel you want to put into it. Okay, now let's see if we're actually able to make the seven ball by just using the point that we just measured before. So center ball, no spin. And we made the seven ball and we also have a really, really nice position on the eight ball. Now before I'm going to show you how you have to adjust when you're using spin, let's clear this, uh, those two balls real quick. Going to use a bit of right spin coming around. Bit too hard, but we still have a really, really nice shot on a nine ball. Let's play the nine ball in real quick with low touch of left spin. Okay, same scenario as before. The only difference now is that the eight ball isn't here, but just moved a bit more to the right. Well, the problem now is if the cue ball ends here, you don't have a nice shot on the eight ball, so the cue ball needs to travel a bit further. And to do that, we just have two options, of course. 
All we need to do is just hit a bit harder, that way the cue ball travels more. Or we can also use right spin. This means the right spin will speed the cue ball up from this rail and that rail and also travels further. Let's go for the harder version first. So remember, this was our point, the yellow spot here on the rail, in order to make a contact with the seven ball on this space. But what happens if we're hitting harder? Remember, the angle will shallow. So if we're hitting harder, the cue ball comes towards here and doesn't go to the ghost ball, but the angle shallows and goes just a bit more towards here. This means it will hit the seven ball thinner and shoot the seven ball into here. So this means if we're hitting harder, we need to adjust our point a bit more and just get a bit closer to the seven ball. All right? Now, what happens if we're using right spin? So remember, this was our point. Um, with the right spin, the angle will open. This means the cue ball will now hit the seven ball here and shoot the seven ball into the short rail. So if we're using right spin, we have to get a bit away from our initial point. Okay, just real quick, if you're hitting harder, aim a bit closer to, your, to the object ball. If you're using right spin, go a bit further away. Okay, let's go for the harder hit first. And of course, if you're um, combining the harder hit and right spin, then you at some point are still able to aim to the same spot on the rail. But this is something you have to figure out on your own. Okay, let's just go for a harder hit. This means I'm not aiming to my initial point, but I'm just getting a bit closer to the object ball. And then we should be able to make that seven ball. And of course, don't forget to still put the feel into the shot. So I'm just aiming a bit more to the right this time. Still center cue ball. And you can see the cue ball travels a lot further and we have a nice shot for the eight ball into the side pocket. Okay, now let's do the same just with right spin. So let's put the seven on the exact same spot as it was. Well, like that. Now the cue ball on the exact same spot. And now remember, you're using right spin. So I'm not aiming to my initial point, but just a bit further away. Again, visualize the shot. Imagine how the cue ball travels around, how the seven ball drops. And cue ball still was a bit dangerous with the side pocket, but the cue ball traveled enough in order to have a nice shot on the eight ball because I adjusted my measurements. Okay, let's run this out real quick. Just going to use right spin here. And have a nice shot on the nine ball, maybe a bit too hard. I'm just going to play that in real quick. Hi, touch your left spin. There is one more thing that I'm going to show you real quick now is if you can't use your thumb because obviously you just can reach balls that are that far away from the rail. So let's just create another situation. What you could also do is hopefully you can see that in the camera. I think I'm going to that side this time. So let's put um, this ball on the table. We want to hit the six ball. And obviously it's not possible to um, reach all that, uh, the distance to the rail. So what I'm going to do now is I'm not using my thumb, but I'm just going to use my cue. This means I'm going to put my index finger just on the rail. Then I'm just going over, looking through um, from the cue ball to my index finger. And this means I have to aim to that spot. Now I'm walking over focusing that spot on the rail and then I should definitely be able to make contact with the six ball. 
didn't make it, but um, you won't make the shot all of the time. But you definitely, if you have no idea where exactly you need to aim, you can also use that, that method by using your cue. And this was a lot of talking, a lot of information. I hope you got everything that I told you in this lesson. If you have any questions, then of course, leave a comment down below. Um, if you enjoyed this video, leave a thumbs up. Um, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Ring the bell notification to get notified once I'm uploading new content. And a huge thank you goes out to my sponsors, to my patrons, uh, to every one of you who is supporting me. That's it for today, guys. So thanks for watching. And as always, see you at the next lesson. Take care.